Welcome back to Sports Showtime, everybody. I'm now joined in the forum by two of Sports Showtime's finest, Alex White and Frank Barnett. How's it going today, guys? Pretty good, man. How about you? All right, well, we'll jump right into the action. It was a big weekend for LSU basketball. We'll start off with the, with, with the men. They finally got their top 25 ranking, being ranked number third in the AP poll and number 24 in the coaches poll. Now, Alex, do they deserve this ranking? I think, this, they, I think the ranking is definitely deserved and a testament to how hard this team worked to get any sort of respect. While they have won a lot of games this season, the Tigers have not always been pretty about it and have been flying under most people's radar, especially ESPNs. All I've been hearing is how down the SEC is this year, but I would just like to think it's a more balanced league than in years past. The LSU is leading the pack well. Pazma Mitchell's leadership has simply been undeniable. Every time the Tigers need a big play to stay in the game, he always seems to step it up, especially against Ole Miss when it seems no one else can make anything happen whatsoever. This team is going nowhere but higher and higher up in the pole from here on out. Uh, well, I'm going to have to agree with Alex here and uh, say that, yes, these guys do deserve to be ranked in the top 25. When I look at these guys, I see a group of young men who play to win every game, but at the same time play as if they have nothing to lose. Something like this is very dangerous for any team that we play. But we got to give it up to Marcus Thornton and Tasman Mitchell, along with the big man in the suit. That's right, Trent Johnson. Johnson has entrusted these two guys to be the leaders of this team, and they have done exactly that. Lead. If you need proof, take a look at Mitchell in the Mississippi State game with his career-high 41 points, or Thornton and how it seems that he averages over 20 points a game. So it's this aggressiveness that I see that these guys have that's gotten them to where they are now. And, uh, but let's not get out of ourselves. There's a lot more college basketball left to play. Great answers, guys. Now, the women were successful, too, beating 11th-ranked Florida 66-47. to All right, guys, it's been an up-and-down season for the Lady Tigers so far, with this being the biggest win. Now, was this an actual LSU win, or was it just a fluke? Frank? Hobie, uh, I'd love to say keep an eye out for this happening more often, but I just don't know. But I will say this, though. Where has this playing been all year so far? Hightower, Morris, Barrett, a mix of young and old players who have the talent, seem that they're hit and miss every game in terms of are they on the same page. Not to take anything away from this victory, though, I see this one as being a big confidence booster for this Lady Tiger basketball team. Frank, until I see more out of this team, I'm going to have to say it's just a fluke. Florida just looked flat on Sunday and just seemed never to wake up. Yes, this Tiger team is getting better, but they are not 20 points better than a top 10 team quite yet. This team just needs to worry about getting into the dance, as it would be a disappointment and slightly embarrassing to be hosting the first two rounds of the tournament here in the PMAC and not have our own Tigers there. A few more wins and hopefully they are in. I just don't think the wins will be as easy as they were on Sunday. Okay. Definitely. Now, one, one thing I know you guys did not miss this weekend was the NBA All-Star Weekend. Alex, what did you take from Sunday's All-Star Game and All-Star Weekend? Well, Hobie, I definitely thought the game was a disappointment. First of all, LSU's own Shaquille O'Neal getting co-MVP after only 11 minutes in the game is just laughable. Also, the fact that LeBron wasn't even close to being able to lead his conference over the West to get some sort of revenge on Kobe for the latest showdown was definitely a letdown. Yes, the dunk contest is cool, but the first two rounds were a joke as the finalists are almost guaranteed. One thing I was definitely excited about though, LeBron saying he'll be in the 2010 dunk contest. I'm Frank, or I'm pumped Frank, I'm totally, totally pumped. Yeah, so am I. But I mean, you know, the All-Star Game is the All-Star Game, you know, and it's always a joy to watch. I mean, I just love seeing basketball games with a combined score of 265 points. I mean, it's amazing. But what about that slam dunk contest? Three words, Kryptonate Robinson. I did not see this guy winning at all. And I didn't even see Dwight Howard pulling out that Superman cave again. I mean, haha, ha, yeah, it was funny last year, but I mean, you know, you can only milk the cow for so long, dude. So I'm happy though that the slam dunk crown went to a really short guy like that who can do exactly that, slam dunk, and he did it over Dwight Howard. <laughs> well, thanks for coming in to discuss some hot topics in the world of sports, guys. It's time to let our sponsors get a word in, but when we come back, we'll have the top five plays of the weekend. Stay tuned. You're watching Tiger TV Sports Showtime. Well, there was a lot going on this weekend from sports here at LSU all the way to Phoenix for the NBA All-Star Weekend. Some tough decisions were made, but Sports Showtime brought together the top five plays from the weekend. At number five, Chris Johnson here with a little pass. Chris Johnson goes up and slams it down over Ole Miss. Let's take another look at that two-handed slam for the Tigers' victory over Ole Miss. And in at number four, the Lady Tigers softball team taking on Ohio State here. Juliana Santos, I think not. She's going to diving block for the tag there. And then at number three, Krypton Nate Robinson, as Frank put it, goes up and over Dwight Howard. 
to hand Howard his little stunt. There he goes. All five nine of him over Howard with a little slam jam with the money ball green. But back to LSU basketball, and at number two, Chris Johnson in the lane. He's like a wall against Ole Miss with another block. He got up 12 feet on that one. And at number one, former LSU Tiger Shaquille O'Neal dancing with the Jabberwockies before the game and then during the game showing that he can pop, lock, and dunk it after the pass from Chris Paul through Dwight Howard's legs as he gave, helped give the, the West a win in the game. Well, that's going to do it for us here at Sports Showtime. You can catch the rebroadcast of this show on Tiger TV tonight at 6.30 and 10.30. Or if you're off campus, you can catch the rebroadcast on Cox Channel 4 at 11.30 and WBCR Channel 19 at midnight. And you can also check us out online at www.tigertv.tv. From all of us here at Sports Showtime, have a great day. Into the liveest game coverage around from Southern LSU Sports, Showtime in the towns. Get the scoop on the ball and sneak peek on the track. Key in on the field when them Tigers attack. In fact, you get it back a few times a week. But it starts on Tuesday, third day of the week. They're beasts when they broadcast. Increase like a fall class. Critique when I speak by my squad in the quad, man. Yeah, they the stars on the quad, man. That's the TBC, Tiger TVP. Every game, every start, every player, every situation they face the star in the making. And you get it first exclusively. Yeah, I know you're feeling me. Who wants the latest on